This is Shanghai's Tomorrow Square building, or the Claw. It towers 285 meters into the air, but it should be even higher. The ground in the district it's built on has sunk 2.9 meters in 90 years. Over the past century, Shanghai's famous Art Deco buildings have sunk to below sea level. It's meant this wall that we're standing on had to be built to protect it. Without it, during a high tide, they'd be flooded and all of that history destroyed. But it's history that's to blame. In the 1920s and 30s, these old factories relied on water. They took it from underground aquifers. It took too much. It left underground air pockets and the dirt sunk. This micro model shows the shift. Historically speaking, the main reason for Shanghai sinking is underground water extraction. Now though the city enforces strict rules to make sure there's enough water in the ground to stop any shifts. The Shanghai Institute of Geological Survey says the problems are over. To make sure, 220 GPS and 37 ground monitors watch for any shifts. Three city bureaus control water usage in line with new laws. If aquifers start to dry up, water is pumped back underground. The institute also monitors metro tunnels, advising on how new work should proceed safely and where new lines should be built. It also works with developers to ensure foundations under construction sites are sturdy. Progress has meant the city now only moves a few millimetres every year. Normal for a coastal city with muddy soil. Shanghai's silence is generally uneven, so we mainly focus on its influence on some key infrastructure projects. The current millimeter scope of ground movement will not affect people's daily lives or the safety of the city.